What are the eggs? Ouch! Oh, this is actually really heavy. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing this fine day? I am going to do a edited video today. Usually Wednesdays we do Cusco Uncut, and it makes it really easy for me because I just hit record on the camera and boom, 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 bam, bam, done, done, done. But for whatever reason today, I wanted to make it harder on myself. I didn't want to make it harder on myself. I just feel like doing an edited video. I'm hanging out with my baby T. I'm cleaning up some snakes. I went to a buddy for, well, let's, let's just, here, let's take it one step at a time. Yeah, let's clean that snake yet. Oh, calm down there. glory. Yeah. Ah, oh, see our big girl Beatrice here. This is Beatrice. She's had a nice fresh shed looking absolutely fantastic. It's Beatrice T. Ah, oh, look at her go. What a beautiful snake, man. Oh, we're gonna need to take an Instagram picture with her today. Fresh shed. Hey, Leia Moon. What? What do you know? I know about the snakes in the cage. What about the snakes in the cage? They, they have shed. They have shed? Anything else? Nope. Oh, 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 this is actually really heavy. Oh, God. Oh, freaking hat pushed down the eyes. Ouch. I'm all wrapped up. So this morning I went over to my new buddy Sean's house. I've, I've spoken with Sean online for some time now, actually. He li he's local here to me, and he wanted some help sexing a couple snakes. So I went over there to help them out a little bit, and I was like, oh, dude, I just put out a video where I miss sex snakes, but we still did a pretty good job, I think. So he has some beautiful ball pythons over at his place, and I'll put a link for his Instagram down below so you guys can go check out some of the stuff he's working with. Very nice clown ball pythons and some other cool stuff, and yeah. I wanna see what's on. How do you ask? I'd like to take a second and focus on a couple of the negative things that are happening around here recently. One is that the smoke has overtaken the entire West Coast. I've got this app on my phone. I don't know what my phone is. It's a website, actually, Purple Air, and it's what we use to track every day to see if it's safe for us to go outside and breathe the air or not. And if you look at the map, just the entire West Coast at this point is just shot. Like, if we wanted to go out and enjoy some fresh air, we would have to leave the West Coast and, like, go to Las Vegas or something, which seems counterintuitive to me, but that's where we'd have to go. And it's a bummer, because I, not so much for me, like, I'm doing fine with it mentally and everything for the most part, but I feel bad for the kids not being able to go outside and play and just being stuck in the house and they're doing homeschool and all this stuff, and I just wish that it was done already, but... It's sure as hell gonna make us appreciate the fresh air once it actually finally comes around. We're gonna be like, oh, thank the Lord, we can go outside and run and play and not worry about inhaling noxious fumes. It's gonna be so fantastic when that time finally comes. The other negative thing is roaming reptile stuff has kind of been put on hold. We canceled our uh, liability insurance because we just weren't doing any shows. All the schools are not having shows and uh, so that's that's not happening. I was hoping that would be picking back up by now, but when it came time to re renew the insurance, I literally just kept the camera and equipment insurance, and we're, we have no liability insurance for roaming reptiles right now because it doesn't make sense to pay for it if we're not using it. So we're gonna look. We're hoping to reinstate it whenever the time comes, but for now, it's uh, it's depressing, slightly depressing. That's enough negative stuff. We're done with that. All done.
Oh, on the plus side, this girl is going to be laying a clutch probably within the next couple weeks, I say, maybe even sometime later this week. A little bonus clutch for the season. Bamboo female, she's going to be producing some 100% het clown action. Yeah. Can I see that one, Daddy? Which one? I lied, one last piece of bad news. If the fires keep up, then I think Dave Kaufman is gonna cancel his trip out here that we we're gonna do and go herping with Brian and all that stuff, which is completely understandable. I wouldn't wanna come out and try and go herping in a smoke infested, yeah. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but you guys will find out real soon if it does. Also, I caught on that live stream that somebody wanted to see an update on Sangria, our big blood python female here. There's a little Sangria update for you. She's big, beautiful. That's sangria tea, look at her, she's freaking amazing. Now seems like a good time to talk to you about how homeschooling is going <laughs> and the, the struggles you're having. I haven't had you on the vlog for a while, like over a couple of quick seconds. I'd rather like talk to you about it than just talk to talk the to camera. Me. Talk to me. What's your question? How it's going? Yeah, just like how are you? How are you dealing with it? Because it seems very frustrating from an outside perspective. No. No. I mean, it can be. Yeah, when things like that happen, or when Eli is like, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> But I feel like after a couple weeks, we're in a, a good routine and uh, they're getting used to it. Eli actually finishes work really fast because it's pretty easy and simple. And so I had to buy some supplement, uh, supplement the supplementary curriculum books. The online part was frustrating in the beginning just because of all the technical stuff. We just Mommy. started using a new platform at their school. Remember this giant mosquito bite? Yeah, but yeah, I feel like we're in a good flow, and I actually have have their uh, teacher conferences, parent teacher conferences, this week and next week. So we'll uh, talk to them then. But yeah, I mean, Daddy, I don't know. Do you want to? Well, good job, good job. It's, yeah, keep it up. I don't know how you're doing it. <laughs> hey, no. Can I talk to you for a second, bud? Just come out to the stairs. Uh, so I, I just want you to know something, okay? Mm. Your brain is really smart. Like, you, you got Grandpa Cusco's brain. So, I know it can be really frustrating if you don't understand something at first, because the way your brain works, if you figure things out real quick. But I don't want you to be super upset, if you don't understand. Because literally, dude, you're, you're smarter than Anybody I know your age, you're smarter than I was when I was your age, and you're going to be one of the smartest people I know, and you're going to be able to do whatever you want because of how smart you are. But things aren't always easy to figure out, okay? Sometimes things are hard to figure out. Sometimes things are not easy to understand. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Okay. So, if you can't understand something right away, just don't get so frustrated with yourself, okay? Okay. Because it's not as bad as you think it is. Okay. And just because you don't just because you don't understand something right away doesn't mean you're not smart. It just means that you're so smart you're used to being able to figure things out quickly. But sometimes things take more time. Okay? Okay. So I don't want you to be so hard on yourself if you can't figure something out right away, okay? Okay. Because like I said, you're the smartest kid I know. Alright? Alright. Okay. You, you gonna be alright? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I think they just need little words of encouragement just to help them out a little bit. Hopefully you guys are able to do something like that for, with your kids too, and hopefully it works. <laughs> if you guys made it this far in the video, please do me a favor and 
smack that like button, touch that like button, whack that like button, or the dislike button. Either one of them. We don't care which one you do. Don't forget to get your Cocoa Blocks when they're in stock. <laughs> and uh, you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Got some cool t-shirts coming out soon you guys might be interested in. Just wanted to bring you along for a random part of the day. Kind of like Cusco and Cut, but very, very cut. <laughs> take care, guys. See you later. Aloha. I know slime and I really like it and every day I, and every time I, it's my birthday I want to have it. Blah. And it was such a meal.